This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, this was some weird news. Ty Dolla Sign, they said, is staring down a possibility of more than a decade in prison. They said he was indicted on drug charges that include felony possession of cocaine. He has three counts of felony possession of cocaine, felony possession of THC, and misdemeanor possession of less than one ounce of weed. Now, his lawyer is saying it's not a big deal. They said time maintains his innocence, and there's no indication to the contrary. They also said that his jewelry and cash that were seized from him upon his arrest in September was ordered returned to him last week, which is another clear sign that this matter is coming to a close soon. Why were the people mentioning Ty Dolla Sign's name in the whole King of R&B discussion? He's R&B, right? He is R&B. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they should. They could have mentioned his name. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people threw themselves in the conversation too. Uh, the dream is uh, somebody else that could have been mentioned as well, unless he's out of the the range of the past decade. Yeah. I forgot about the dream. Yeah, you could you could have put the dream could've in there. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. It was in ten years. Yeah. All right, Nicki Minaj. Everybody's talking about her new boyfriend, who is actually an old boyfriend. It was a relationship that she had with him back um, when she was. Younger, living in Queens, his name is Kenneth Petty, and she says that he's one of her first loves. What else everybody is talking about is they're saying that he was convicted of first-degree attempted rape back in 1995. Now, according to sources close to Nikki, they said that he was dating the victim, and the mother filed the charges because she didn't approve of him, and both he and his victim were 16 at the time. So we don't know exactly what the situation is behind this conviction, but that's what sources are saying. So he caught a body too, right? Uh, yeah, manslaughter they, charge. Yeah, they are saying that he did go to jail for seven years for manslaughter as well. So don't know enough information, but you know, Nicki Minaj appears to be very much in love with him. Was that on his Tinder profile? Like, what was all? Like, how did people pull up all these allegations? I'm sure they Googled his yeah, name. Yeah, I think and... if you Google his name, certain things oh, come up. And, comes I, up. and, gotcha. and I'm sure people know him as well. You know, so. Well, if she's happy. She posted a picture with him, and she said, oh, they want to talk. Let's give him something to talk That's about. That's all that matters. She's she happy. happy. That's all that matters. Drop on the clues bond from Nicki Minaj if she's happy. Mm-hmm. Now, Cardi B was also on CBS this morning, and this was over the weekend after she found out she was nominated for five Grammy Awards. And on that interview, she talks about some of her achievements on the Billboard charts and all of that. And she also talks about beefing with Nicki Minaj. And she does admit that it was bad for business. It's unnecessary, but am I ever embarrassed about anything that I don't know? Is it good for business or bad for business? I think it's bad for business. You know, a lot of people like to say, oh, publicity is good publicity. To me, it's not, because that takes away of people paying attention to your craft. They just want to see drama. She's absolutely correct. Now, she also says that although certain things that, uh, you know, she's done, she's just not... It's unnecessary, but she said she's not apologizing or embarrassed by some of the recent drama that she's had. She said, am I embarrassed by anything I do? No. All right. Lauren London and Parker McKenna are going to be starring in a Tracy Edmonds BET drama series. So that should be interesting. It's called Games Divas Play. Now, it was just recently Lauren London's birthday. So happy belated birthday to Lauren London. And people are speculating that she and Nipsey Hussle got married because of this TMZ clip. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lauren. Oh, thank you. To this, to this boss, phenomenal woman right here. To so your what? To my wife, to my girl. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. You know, he said my wife to my girl. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I mean, what is a ceremony anyway? <laughs> it's a ceremony. If that's his, that is his wife. Yeah, Regardless of if they ever walked down the aisle or not. The two of them are very cute together, so who knows? But, yeah. All right, now, 50 Cent. He has that $150 million deal with stars, and that's also going to include three spinoffs. One of them is a prequel to Power, and here's what 50 Cent had to say about that. The prequel is, 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 is my spinoff concept <laughs> because I get a chance to come back. I'm dead. It's cool, though. It gets a chance to show the world that where all of these characters grew in, so, so you can see the defining moments that develop the imperfections that people are attracted to at the moment. Now, how many seasons of a Power prequel do I need? Because I would think that that all could be, you know, uh, put together in a little mini series, maybe could be. Mm-hmm. three, four episodes. Do I need a, do I need five, six seasons of a prequel of Power to get to this point? I'm not sure, but we do know that all the spinoffs will be moving simultaneously. So, and I guess Kanan's going to be one of the main characters in this prequel. So, we here for it? Yes. I'm gonna yeah. watch it. I'll watch it. I'm, I'm I'm invested in Power enough to where I would care for a prequel. All right, and Power un- had an unfortunate incident that happened on set. One of the members of 
The crew died on set. Really sad situation. Pedro Jimenez, 50 Cent, posted a condolences message. He said, my prayers and condolences are with the entire Jimenez family. Apparently, he was going to move some cones so people couldn't park, and he got hit by a 2006 Ford Explorer. It happened at 4.30 a.m., so they are very deeply saddened by the loss of one of the members of power. I'm sure it was really hard for everybody on set. Lala, Joseph Sakura, Notori, Omari Harwick, they all posted messages with their condolences. It has to be hard to deal with while you're filming and you guys become such a family. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report.